In Iraq, armed groups linked to al-Qaeda have seized parts of the city of Ramadi in the western province of Anbar. Fighting erupted after security forces tore down a protest camp near Ramadi, inflaming tensions between Sunni Muslims and the Shiite-led government. The violence also spread to the nearby city of Fallujah. In Peshawar, northwest Pakistan, the blockade of a NATO supply route entered its 40th day. Since late November, activists of the local ruling coalition, Pakistan tariq e insaf and Jamaat-e Islami, have been blocking trucks carrying NATO supplies to neighboring Afghanistan to protest U.S. drone strikes inside Pakistan. Also in Peshawar, residents of the Ragi neighborhood continued protests against what they called an extrajudicial killing. Protesters demanded punishment for a local police chief blamed for the killing of an employee of the city's agricultural university during a police raid on his home. In the Ukrainian capital, Kiev, several thousand people took part in a torchlight procession to commemorate nationalist leader Stepan Bandera. Bandera was a leader of Ukraine's nationalist movement, which included an insurgent army that fought alongside German soldiers during World War II. Many in eastern Ukraine consider him a traitor to the Soviet Union's struggle against the Nazis. In Tajikistan, police have begun revoking driver's licenses that were issued more than 10 years ago. In December, the government announced that old licenses must be renewed before the beginning of 2014. Many Tajik drivers have complained they were not given enough time to obtain new documents. And that's the video roundup from Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty.